guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome Divine Masculine to this week's Yang reading for June the 17th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm using the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. I think I'm going to do a, a split Divine Partnership reading. So I'm going to Pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. Okay. So let's look at the overall energy. So strengthening bonds, Ace of Pentacles. So in the um, Rite of Weight deck, usually this card represents new beginnings. You're, you're being given um, an opportunity. So this is a windfall. So it represents a new start that's going to generate prosperity. Now what it says at the bottom is strengthening bonds. And there's a feminine being represented here. And this feminine is faced away. Um, but she's also lit, right? She, you know, surrounded by this bright light. And it's also green. There's growth. So for the next week, you are possibly open to connecting um, with your Divine Feminine, strengthening those bonds. You're in a healing energy and you know you got the king of cups coupled with the page of pentacles um i kept the cards from the twin flame reading so these are the messages from the universe these cards are the the feminine side so you're in a healing open state beginning a new adventure looking to your long-term goals Right, so here there is an offer, right? This opportunity is there with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're beginning something. You're feeling hopeful for the future. You feel that you have the tools and the ability that you that is required. Right, it's a very prosperous time. So I'm just going to leave that there so you can see. So how do you feel about the relationship, the connection, um, about the Divine Feminine? So this is a chariot move. Um, but, you know, what's really standing out is a commitment, a bond shared between two people. Love, right? It's, it's this feeling of love and connectedness, very vibrant energy. So you, but the chariot also represents moving forward emotionally. Um, as the king of cups, you know, the message from the universe was to be the king of cups. So offer your heart, you know, if, the, if you want to move forward in the connection, follow your heart. What are you resisting? trust the full card so you're resisting taking that leap of faith starting anew uh, trusting in the divine connection so what's standing out to me is this feminine energy um, you know vibrating this glow very positive vibrations being represented here so again, what I'm feeling is, you know, she is willing to take a leap of faith and you need to trust and do the same. 
It's like a nudge in the right direction is what I'm feeling. Message from your higher self. Nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. So your higher self is telling you to keep going. You have the strength, the power to make it to the finish line, to pursue the things that awaken you. Um, but also take time to rest and think about you know, where you want to spend your energy. Maybe you're overexerting yourself. But also I feel you know, the, the finish line is there. Um, but don't rush ahead, like in this mad kind of way. Um, take your time, slow down like the Knight of Pentacles. And also the message from the universe was to plan ahead as well, eh? So there may be movement in the 3D. You desire to move forward in this connection, but you're kind of at a standstill. Um, you're resisting taking that leap of faith. So listen to your higher self and, you know, look after yourself. Consider all your options. Consider the consequences of your actions. Make a plan and do what your heart desires. Okay, so the past position is the tower rebuilt. So this is a sudden change. Reality is changed forever. So shocking news, a shocking realization. You can see this thunderbolt hitting like a mag, um, almost like a steel kind of dress, right? It's, it, it's almost acting like it is absorbing the current. You know, the feminine, you know, there's also, she's closed off as well. Her heart is a bit closed off. So there, there, this is a feminine energy who is being represented here as a tower. So there may have been news from some, uh, from a woman that was shocking. Um, somebody disrupted your foundation All right and you're looking you're looking to strengthen the bond to to reconnect to heal so anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down this is coming in the past and it says rebuild so your focus is on rebuilding having that new foundation that new start looking to the future having a completely new start as a fool, childlike, free, innocent. But, you know, you're still, um, it's, you're, you're weary, I guess, from the tower, you're tired. So the present position we have, nice, manifest, the magician, look at you all-powerful, all-knowing, completely in the now, in the zone. Crown chakra activated. So this is pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is required when you want to manifest, when you want to start a new project, when you want to create a new life for yourself. All right, so very, very powerful energy of manifesting um, the Page of Pentacles is also about, you know, co-creating your reality, something that is in line with yourself. So it's a new journey, uh, to build a life that you desire. And that's exactly what you're doing. Very powerful. From that tower came conscious awareness. The future position, nice. The divine masculine, emperor. This is the energy that you're bringing into the union for the twin flame connection. It was also your energy in 3D for the mid month. Energy read. So, what I'm feeling here is action is required, but you're kind of like on, you're about to start a new journey. You're on the precipice of 
this new start. Now, the Magician comes after the Fool card, so that would mean that he, you've already taken that leap of faith, right? But there's a feminine being re, uh, represented here, so maybe resistance is coming from the feminine, not necessarily yourself. Um, because, you know, the Divine Masculine is a manifester. He takes action. You know, here he's got this scroll with his plans. He, you know, take the lead. Very, very powerful masculine energies right here. Incredible. Okay, message from the universe. Nice. Nine of Cups. The universe is, is telling you that your dreams are coming true. So there's, you know, these hands here that have this galaxy um, in their grasp. So I guess what I'm kind of feeling with this is that, you know, reach out, grab your dreams, uh, create the reality that you desire or that your the reality that you desire is being manifested, right? Nine is nearing the completion would, and t 10 would be um, the happily ever after card. Um, but the universe is saying to pursue things that make you happy. Um, to, to love deeply. To be open to love and connection. So there's a, the universe really is kind of reaching out, almost offering this galaxy or this reality to the masculine, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> we'll see what the extended reading says. So you can uh, purchase it below. There's a link. Um, you'll have to go to my website to order it. So in your external environment is the Ace of Swords, clarity of belief. So there is a masculine energy here. Um, it's like you've set your intention and you've set it free. You've allowed that seed of intention to to, you know, bring you abundance and your desires. And it looks like there's like a heart here, right? Green is growth, love, like emotions. The red um, or magenta could possibly be crown chakra activation, but what I'm, the red, I'm, I'm seeing more red here. So that is, you know, groundedness, base chakra, so new beginning kind of thing. And then the blue is mental, air. So all the colors are being represented except for yellow. But I, I'm seeing like this mental noise is being pushed away by the purple, the magenta, um, which is manifesting to me. I think I'm going on a t tangent here. I apologize. So your external environment, Ace of Swords, um, is either making a decision, having a clear idea, setting that intention, cutting away things. But look at how this masculine's energy, you know, his hand is on his, his heart, right? There's love associated with this intention. So I'm almost feeling like, you know, calling out your, calling for your soulmate. Uh, which was calling in your soulmate was actually the mid-month energy reading. So that's only available through Patreon. Um, okay, and so what do you fear is the Seven of Cups, daydreams and decisions. So you fear that um, what you're pursuing maybe is an illusion, just a daydream. Um, you know, you're afraid maybe you'll lose your way. If you follow your heart, it could lead to um, disillusionment and heartbreak. So this is a card of a standstill. So what I'm kind of seeing, even though 
this is a water card I'm seeing a lot of air there's clouds and this person doesn't have a body and then we got these two pillars which you know very closely resembles the two of swords right it's indecision but this is the seven of cups which usually means having a lot of options not knowing which one to choose um, but a very solemn face what you fear is being in this state okay so let's pull one card from the Osho Zen final message for the masculine this one letting go the eight of cups okay so what you're resisting was letting go you know taking that leap of faith surrendering to destiny um, it does also have to do with the new start and I almost opened it right to the spot I had to go forward and then I went back and then it stopped right at the, the card okay so in existence there is nobody who is superior and nobody who is inferior the blade of grass and the great star are absolutely equal but man wants to be higher than others he wants to conquer nature hence he has to fight continuously all complexities arise out of this fight the innocent person is one who has renounced fighting who is no longer interested in being higher who is no longer interested in performing and provide uh, in proving that he is someone special who has become like a rose flower or like a dewdrop on the lotus leaf who has become part of this infinity who has melted merged and become one with the ocean and is just a wave who has no idea of the I the disappearance of the I is innocence Wow powerful so the universe is telling you to be like that raindrop you know let go become one with all this is another um, cup card emotion right so the universe um, is giving you the eight of cups and the nine of cups and you know that feeling of oneness you're not alone you're you're you are connected to all and you know, that spiral vortex spirally kind of um, oneness all right so I do hope this helps um, please like share and subscribe and comment all right cheers welcome back yang so this is the extended version whoa hold on a second okay so the card that fell out was the eight of swords and I accidentally looked at the bottom of the jack and it's a three of swords so uh, you had the three of swords in as a present energy in the twin flame reading so um, you there's you definitely need to address this and we'll see what the extended says so I'm going to be pulling a past, present, and future per position. What the heck? Okay, hold on. So the page of swords just jumped out. So there's some type of decision you need to make or there's something that needs to be said. And I'm, I'm not feeling this is an energy coming from the universe. I feel this is you, masculines, um, it's telling me. Uh, so that it will get out to the collective. I feel a masculine voice. All right, so let's begin here. So if you remember, the overall energy was the Ace of Pentacles, so strengthening bonds, a new start, the Page of Pentacles, the king of cups and the eight of cups were the messages from the universe so you know there's um, you're healing you're being open um, you are emotionally balanced 
and you you know the universe wants you to to begin this new journey to you know let go to become one with all but you know connect with your divine feminine as well okay so the way you see the relationship is move the chariot so the knight of pentacles nice the heart chakra and the seven of cups so the knight of pentacles is a movement very slow movement one step at a time so this is kind of confirming that you know you've already planned for the future you've taken the steps you're being represented as this very powerful manifester sending intentions out your dreams are manifesting right it's all because you were committed to this long-term goal but the chariot is a very fast movement now I'm not really feeling chariot energy here but I do feel um, you know this deepening of love especially with the heart chakra in the present this long-standing love um, has kept you steady on your journey now the seven of cups is in the future same card over here of what you fear so you know this card says daydreams and decisions so daydreaming you know you, you have uh, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz she's in this imaginary universe um, she's lost confused and she wants to find her way home right so the yellow brick road so here we have the yellow brick road and the masculine following it and then here we have that sense of losing your way and that's exactly what you're afraid of so um, keep your sights set on your your wishes and your dreams um, be powerful take the lead don't lose hope listen to your heart and follow your heart is also another message so the, the resistance uh, is the full card trust you know so I wasn't sure if this was the feminine resisting or you the masculine so let's look for confirmation so the two of wands the nine of cups again and the five of swords so the two of wands is basically you walking through that door expanding your mind expanding your perception um, seeing how you are connected to all so there was a, an expansion and also possibly a decision made to embark on a journey that is more in line with yourself spiritually so in the present position of what you're resisting is the nine of cups so this is pursuing things that make you happy you know it's your, your wishes and dreams coming true um, and then in the future we have the five of swords, which is, uh, you know, mental conflict. It's fighting, finger pointing, triggering in the future, and, but it's all mental stuff and negative energy. So if what I'm feeling here is you need to return to that expansion, you, you know, embrace the things that make you happy, celebrate life, take a leap of faith, because if you don't, you will continue to be stuck in a negative environment you don't want that you want to be happy obviously okay so message from your higher self was the nine of wands so the two of swords page of pentacles again and the three of swords so two of swords progressing to the three of swords in the future so the two of swords past position mental conflict this card showed up as crowning energy coupled with the true, uh, true love in the twin flame. Um, so you were bringing in the two of swords. So, you know, you, you feel, you hope that the decisions that you made in the past were the right ones. Um, you were at a crossroads. Your higher self is asking you to stop, reconsider, rest not to worry to start planning ahead for the future the page of pentacles um, is coming up again so that was the one of the messages from the universe 
Page of Pentacles, new adventure, new beginning. Um, but this is also a commitment to a long-term goal. Once this person has made up their mind, they're not turning back. So your higher self is telling you to sit down and plan. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here, right? There's this activation of this force field, this desire to plan, to, to manifest. And then you've got your plans in your hand and you're ready to take action. But it requires you to think about it. The future, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so the Two of Swords is leading to the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords was actually uh, in the present position for the Twin Flame reading. So it's almost like there's something that you need to do, something that you may have done in the past, um, and it may come back to haunt you, or it, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy, I don't know, um, or it, you know that it's going to lead to heartbreak, and so it does. I'm just going to pull one more card as further clarifier, so use my smaller deck for that. So what do you mean by the Three of Swords in the future? The Five of Swords. You know, uh, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, those are very confused, um, fearful, clouded thoughts, painful thoughts. Okay, so what do you mean by the Three of Swords? La lucidity. Lucidity, so that would be like clarity of thought regarding somebody that maybe broke your heart. Um, lucidity in knowing that <clears throat> you have to let go of somebody. Um, you have to face somebody that you hurt. Okay, so the tower is in the past position, so rebuild. So the Queen of Cups, the base chakra, and the Hermit. So the Queen of Cups could represent a water sign, but this is a feminine who is an emotional body. She's emotional attachment to the masculine, very loving, unconditional. Um, so the tower coupled with that, it could be a sudden realization about this water energy, um, maybe something was ripped away from you. She guarded her heart, she closed off herself emotionally, um, triggered you in some way, but it caused you to feel um, insecure, unsafe. With the base chakra, it's the lowest chakra, right? So there was a sudden awareness um, of the loss of, I don't know. But then in the future we have the hermit, the philosopher. So the somebody who goes on a spiritual quest to find inner guidance, strength. So what I see is from this disruption comes strength, comes enlightenment. But this is somebody who seeks out stillness in order to find those answers. So in solitude, you discovered a truth, your power, and you're feeling it strongly in the present with the magician. So let's pull three cards. Ace of Fire, Eight of Pentacles, and wow, 1111. So the Ace of Fire coupled with the magician card. So this, this is an 11, two ones. Um, so the Ace of Fire is go like, go time. It is an inspiration. Um, an epiphany, kundalini awakening. So we have the ace of fire coming in the past. We also have the two of fire in the past. The two of swords as well. So decision made, one that is more aligned with your higher self. And you, you got the goal like to begin this. And so this next week is all about preparing for that preparing to manifest. You have the Eight of Pentacles in the present position coupled with the Magician. 
very you're already starting to see this uh, the fruits of your labor you're seeing abundance you feel that you're making progress there's positive movement forward it's all about manifesting your dreams very cool you know this ace of fire coupled with manifestation coupled with the magician there's just so much awareness and power um, being represented here you it's almost like you have the ability to instantly manifest what you desire because you have a clear channel to source where the you know the the magician is a crown chakra awareness um, the ace of fire would be the golden light you know the golden thread attaching the crown chakra to consciousness which is 11 11 in the future there's been a, um, an activation movement and manifestation uh, of the twin flame in the future so for some I see union in the 3D and here you are as the Emperor in the future the King of Pentacles Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. What is going to happen? Um, you know, you've got these sad cards, the Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, but then you also have the Eleven Eleven card. So you're making a decision, you're taking action, and it has to do with, I think, a karmic partner. I usually see the Queen of Swords as somebody who is karmic because they they're cutting, they have cutting words, they are emotionally detached. Um, you know, the Ice Queen. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is a provider, um, who is a father figure, plans for long-term goals. So the future we see, you actually stepping into this King of Abundance from all that hard work that you've been doing. And now you're you're ready to take action um, on other endeavors or manifesting even more. But there's so much stability and groundedness here, and it's like you're you're ready to take action against either an air sign or a karmic partner, somebody who is cold as ice. And ultimately, it's going to hurt because you need to let go of that attachment. You need to cut it away. So this is mourning, loss, grieving. Again, confirming that there's something big that um, will happen to you, but don't see it as happening to you because, you know, you need to det detach yourself emotionally from that. Don't take anything personal. Whatever happens to you um, comes out of your own awareness. You create your reality right um but I, I'm, I'm feeling this is almost like happening to somebody else and you're just you're in this powerful still conscious state you've been planning a long time for it i almost feel there's somebody you need to say goodbye to this could be even your boss a new job right there might be a new opportunity but you're taking action regardless. Okay, so a message from the universe, Nine of Cups, dreams fulfilled. So the High Priestess, the Knight of Cups, and Strength card. So the High Priestess, somebody who's highly intuitive, who, um, you know, she also represents the subconscious mind. She represents foresight, um, seeking deep answers. So the universe is saying that, you know, you've looked within in the past, um, you've made decisions that were based on your intuition, um, that were for your highest good, you've sent out intentions into the universe and now it's coming back to you. So move forward and offer your love with the Knight of Cups, this is courting energy, somebody either off in their hand in marriage or commitment, but it is a desire to connect. 
to the universe is telling you to pursue love. Uh, the future position is the strength card, so this is love, kindness, and compassion, gentle nature, nurturing. It's also taming the beast within. So what I see here is use your intuition, wear your heart on your sleeve because your dreams are coming true. There's somebody waiting to embrace you. And the High Priestess could also represent the Divine Feminine in her 5D spiritual form. The High Priest would be the Masculine. So the external environment is the Ace of Swords, King of Cups again, Five of Pentacles, and the Chariot again. So King of Cups, so that was one of the messages from the universe, right? Healing, um, forgiving. So we have this emotional balance. Um, and feelings of deep love, but and it could represent a, a water sign. Um, the present position we have the five of Ken Pe bleh, the five of Pentacles. So this is feeling disconnected in 3D, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone. And the Ace of Swords. It's almost like you're sending the your love out and hoping it will be returned to you. Now, the chariot in the future is movement forward, taking control of your life, overcoming those obstacles, those challenges. You know you need to disconnect from something. It's standing in the way of your happiness. Chariot is the same card. That's how you view the relationship, coupled with the heart chakra. You know, so you, what I see here is you actually pursuing what you desire, knowing that it might hurt somebody. Um, or even yourself, but you know you have to look after yourself first. Your happiness comes first. You fear the Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Throat Chakra. Okay, so Three of Wands, thumbs up from the universe, encouragement, belief, um, feeling like you've you're making progress, you're on the right track. But more importantly, the universe is encouraging you, right? So you were inspired. You were uplifted in the past. Um, the present Nine of Pentacles is feeling like you've arrived. Um, it's independence. It's financial freedom. Looking after yourself, self-love. And then Throat Chakra in the future is communicating Right, so this card was the final outcome for the Twin Flame. So you fear that your heart is leading you astray. Uh, you fear being completely independent and free of any 3D uh, chains. Um, you, you, you want to be, you want to do things that make you happy. You want to, you know, um, experience the fun in life right and you you feel that energy to go forward with it but you know you're, you're just afraid to take that leap of faith now in the future um, we have the throat chakra and I just feel that this is you opening up this is you expressing yourself um, having the balls to tell somebody what you want what you desire um, and then, you know, possibly walking away from something. You know, we got the seven, and what you fear, and then the message from the universe was the eight of cups. It w the nine of cups was also the message from the universe. So there's definitely an emotional situation that um, has yet to stand still. But, you know, you, you have the ability to release yourself and take that leave of faith trust right okay so um i think i'm going to use the john holland psychic tarot for the feminine reading so i will actually use this as a final message for the universe for the masculine okay Eight of Cups again, emotional withdrawal. Same card. Up here. All right. 
So it says this card represents moving away or withdrawing from a current situation in your life. Whether it's an old love, a relationship, or leaving behind what was once familiar in search of new horizons or, or beginnings. So there we go. Confirmation that there's something out there that you're beginning to pursue, but you're afraid of taking that step, leaving behind your past, the old. On a physical level, it's easy to get caught up in the, the materialistic world. That's exactly what I was feeling. Um, but it's just as important to retreat from the outside world to enable you to pause, reflect, and heal. Schedule some alone time as you can as you can commune with your soul and give the power of spirit the opportunity to restore your energy level, giving you the vitality vitality to move forward in a positive direction. Yeah, right. So that rest, reconsideration, stop, sit down, think about the future. You know, don't worry about things that are out of your control and then take action. So the number eight represents infinity, passion, control, and power. This is your time. Use this opportunity to tap into your heart and soul in order to find the courage and strength to continue on your journey in a, into a, that be wonderful, undiscovered territory. Yeah, like free, like that page of pentacles, adventurous. Good. Okay. So I hope this helped. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.